Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel of HackerRank Solutions. This is uh, Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of anagrams of the same. Uh, so the problem statement is, Sid is obsessed with reading short stories. Being a CS student, he is doing some interesting frequency analysis with the books. He chooses strings S1 and S2 in such a way that length of S1 minus length of S2 is less than equal to 1. Okay. Your task is to help him find the minimum number of characters of the first string he needs to change to enable him to make it an anagram of the second string. So what is an anagram? A word X is an anagram of another word Y if we can produce Y by rearranging the letters of X. For example, uh, say take this X A X B and B B X B or say this one X Y and yx suppose there are two words xy and yx so xy can be rearranged to yx right so uh, these two words are anagrams okay so our task is given uh, we are given an input word which can be broken into two words okay uh, and then we have to check uh, we have to see, uh, see how many letters we have to convert one uh, in in a word to make it equivalent to another word make it an anagram of another word okay so in this case suppose in this example we have two words a a a and b b b okay though both these are concatenated inputs okay having length of s1 plus s2 as the total length so first we have to extract the uh, two words from this input and then we have to see how many letters we have to convert to make it an anagram to equivalent to the second word so here uh, three a's are there so each letter has to be converted to b to make it an anagram uh, in another example say mn and op here also mn is one word op is second word so we have to convert both mn and to o and p to make it an anagram so uh, in this example xy and yx we can see that um, uh, there is no need for any conversion because x can is equivalent to this x and y is equivalent to this y so rearranging this x y can make uh, can make it an anagram of y x okay so there is no need for any conversion so we have to find basically how many letters we have to convert okay let's start coding here we are given uh, six test cases so first we have to take uh, test cases as input the total number of test cases so in t let's say and, and we'll take this as input while there are test cases remaining uh, input string say string i and pt and then we'll have to extract the two strings right string a is equal to Import dot substr. We'll start from zero and go to the middle element till the so that will be equal to input dot size by two. Okay. So if the size is say six, so size by two will be three. So uh, it will take up from zero to zero one and two. Okay. Size will be zero. So it will start from 0 and take 3 letters sub str the first uh, parameter is the index where we have to star, start collecting the string, substring and the next next uh, parameter is the substring size ok now after this string b will be starting from the next element to uh, this one right sub str so the index of the starting element of the next string will be input dot size z by 2 so let's say size is 6 so 6 by 3 6 by 2 is 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 the, the starting b will be the index of the next string and if it is a, a odd length string then say abc then 3 by 2 is uh, 1 since it is an integer division so it will start from the second letter ok since it is indexed from 0 so after extracting the two strings 
what we will do is uh, we have to basically check how many letters we have to convert right so first of all what we will do is basically we have to find the set difference of both the strings so for finding the set difference we have to first convert sort this to strings okay we will use the standard sort routine to sort Similarly, we will sort the B or B string also. Now, there is a uh, library function called as set difference, which takes five parameters, which is the input uh, uh, set A beginning and end and set B beginning and end and the answer set ok we will have to make an answer set also and it returns an iterator to the last element of the difference ok so the difference of two sets is formed by elements that are present in the first set but not in the second set ok basic set subtraction operation ok the elements copied by the function comes always from the first range in the same order ok that's why we have to sort uh, to the prerequisite it, uh, is that we have to sort both the uh, inputs ok and it returns an iterator to the end of the constructed range ok so after this what we will do is we have to resize the uh, constructed uh, set to get the actual size of the constructed set ok c dot begin so this is the uh, uh, end of the input of the constructed range and this is the beginning so the difference will be the uh, size of the string we will resize it to that ok after that we will print the size of this thing ok it will be the actual number of characters that we have to convert we have to do all this only if the uh, size of a is equal to equal to size of b size of b else we have to output minus 1 ok see if we cannot convert since uh, for example a b c the one let uh, one uh, string size will be 2 and the other string size will be 1 so we can never convert uh, one string to another string ok for that the answer will be minus 1 ok only if the size of a is equal to b then we have to follow these steps otherwise we will output minus 1 here we have to put an end line fine let's try to run this uh, test case should be end sorry mistake okay. it was a typo we have to give the whole range of the strings ok let's try to run it again so the sample test case has passed let's submit the code all the test cases have passed uh, we have been able to solve this problem easily so hope you liked watching this video uh, for more such videos uh,
to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.